This is going to be the date filling. This is one pound of dates and it's it's chopped. You have to chop it because there was a pit in one of them. So we're going to add it to the pot. We're also going to add one and a half cups of water, a fourth cup of sugar. So let's get started. I'm going to add my water to the pot. I'm going to add my sugar so I can dissolve it. And I'm going to turn this on to a medium low heat. It said low, but I'm trying to be as quick as possible. And I'm going to add my dates. And you're going to cook this until it's thickened. It approximately, I would say 10 minutes, but I'm not sure, certain. Then you want to let your mixture cool a little bit. And I'm going to bring you back when this is thickened up. Okay, I just wanted to share that this is thickened. I'm going to show you. Uh, almost all the liquid has cooked out. The sugar has made it completely thick. And I know you can't see that right now because of the steam. But So I'm going to remove that from the heat. And I'm going to let it cool. And I'm going to take you to the next step. Okay. We're going to make the crust for the date bars. This is one and three quarter cup of flour. We are going to add um, a half a teaspoon of salt and soda. This is soda. And I'm gonna just squish that. And a half a teaspoon of salt. And we're gonna give this a stir. Now we have one stick of butter, which is a half a cup. We're gonna, I microwaved it to get it soft. Okay, and we have one cup of brown sugar. We're gonna add to the butter and we're gonna cream together. So I'm gonna do this off camera. And we also have um, one and three quarter cups of oats. And I'll bring you back when I'm done creaming this. Welcome back. So we're going to add the oats to the flour. We have this mixture all creamed. So I'm going to add this to that. And I'll bring you back. Welcome back. I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees while it's preheating. This mixture is cooling down, which it's at 400. And um, I used my pastry blender to mix this. This is crumbly. Um, it does hold the shape if I was to grab it. So we're going to press half of it in this pan and um, I'm going to add the mixture on top and I'll bring you back and then we're going to add the remaining mixture to the pan and then we're going to cook. Welcome back. We have the mixture all pressed down and you can see that I added more because I really wanted a thicker crust. So now we're going to put this on and then I'll bring you back. Welcome back. I just put the filling on top. Now we're going to add the remaining crumb crumble mixture. We're just going to take it with our hands and we're going to crumble it all on top. And then you want to pat it down after you put it on. Just want to go like this and pat it just so the whole mix has has some topping and it gets firm when it cooks so we just want a little bit more on that corner so I'm gonna press down firm in the oven for approximately let's see 25 to 30 minutes so let's get it in the oven hello everybody just wanted to let you know that my date bars came out 
they went in for approximately 25 minutes. Your oven may vary, so you might need 30 minutes on yours, but this was a nice golden brown. You want to let them cool completely before you cut them. So um, you want to cut them six by six. Hello everybody, I just wanted to tell you that I didn't wait till it cooled. Um, it is still warm to touch, but it ain't burning me. And I went one, two, three, four, five, six down and four across because I wanted my bars bigger, but they're supposed to have been six by six. So anyways, there's one right there in the container and they came out so easy. As I was cutting, they just pushed away. So the last time I made this, I had a hard time getting them out. Look at how perfect that is. I just wanted to share that with you. Have a great and blessed day. Bye-bye.